The connection, that's one of the things that this program uh, is known for. People come back to MSOI Week in DC every year, every May, and it's because they want to be with their tribe. <laughs> and there's empowerment that happens with that group that I've not seen anywhere else. I am so very proud to have the title of military spouse. We are amazing people. Hold your head up high and give yourself a round of applause for the things that you do in your own community on a daily basis. First time the military spouse of the year is not a she. Here he is, Jeremy Hilton. The other five ladies who I was going up for the overall award are all pretty amazing. And so to be selected as a final military spouse of the year is obviously quite an honor. Now it is honestly a privilege to be chosen out of all of these amazing, amazing spouses doing fantastic work to support our military community, to be the one to carry this honor. It, I honestly believe that together we're going to be a force to be reckoned with. And we salute the military spouse of the year for her support of, our fam of her family and our country. So what I decided to do five years ago was to find something that I enjoyed doing that was portable, that I can just pick up and take with me every time the military um, told me to go somewhere else. We all meet um, together in life through suffering, um, through moments that are very difficult, but also through, through moments of joy. Um, but joy comes from connection, and it comes through empathy in that moment where you sit across from somebody and you look in their eyes and they go me too and i am so thankful to be in, in a room of people that i can just look across and in everyone's eyes i can see me too i get it i understand and if i don't get it i'm going to try to understand life as a military spouse doesn't come easy natasha hart knows that all too well that's right she and her husband gunnery sergeant patrick hart have two daughters and over the last 17 years Patrick has been deployed four times for the Marine Corps. Which everyone has to find their village, and I am so grateful and lucky that I have the whole you know, spouses to do that for me. And each year, our armed forces gather together to name one very special recipient of the Military Spouse of the Year. And we are proud to welcome now Air Force Spouse and the 2017 Armed Forces Insurance Military Spouse of the Year, Brittany Bonker. We knew that we could help other military families, and so we founded um, the Down Syndrome Advancement Coalition specifically to help children with Down Syndrome, but then I also um, volunteer with our Exceptional Family Member Program to really help all military families that have a child or a dependent with special needs. Well, this In 2013, we founded the Young Quiet Professional, which supports Gold Star families and veterans, and we founded it while standing in Arlington National Cemetery. Um, and, and it was really to be able to give back to the community that supported our family. Well, actually, I hold two titles. Two. Yes, so I was recognized for the Marine Corps Spouse of the Year, but I'm also the Armed Forces Insurance Military Spouse of the Year, so I get to I don't say represent, I get to stand beside some yeah. beautiful, powerful women who are all advocating for something. Poland has made it her mission to be an advocate for military spouses, especially those with young children. She provides support and a community for those that need it most. It's a complete honor to be selected the first Coast Guard spouse to be the Armed Forces Insurance Military Spouse of the Year. And I'm just really proud for our branch. We mm -hmm. are the smallest, and it's just an honor to be able to elevate our Coast Guard spouses even more. <laughs>